guys. Uh, today we're going to take you through the process of an, an, an extension of our Gravity Forms videos. We're going to take you through the process of uh, creating posts uh, using Gravity Forms. Uh, a classic example of this, we've just used this in a, a recent site that we've developed. It was a competition site where uh, people logged on and they entered the competition by submitting stories uh, and what we did was we created a po uh, post with a specific category for uh, these stories and uh, the prospective person would, would uh, log on, fill in the, the gravity form, it would create the post, uh, set it to draft so the competition organizers could make sure that there was no swearing and those kind of things inside the, the posts and then they'd pre press uh, publish and they'd publish those posts. A very, very easy way of, of creating content for your site. Uh, so that, that was just one example for it. Uh, there, are, there are various other examples that you could use. Uh, you could have content providers and you just create, a, instead of giving them access to the back end, they just have access to a form, they log on, fill in the form, they create the content for the site. Uh, and and you can take it from there. Look, uh, it's not it's it's not a foolproof system uh, because you don't have the nice WYSIWYGs to make it make it look pretty with bold and italics and things like that. But let me let me just take you through the process of of creating it because it, it is a great way of, of producing content. So first things first, we're looking at our, our, our standard install. So we'd go through to Gravity Forms, uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to add a new form. Uh, so I'm going to just call this create post. Super simple. So I'm going to create the form. So first things first, when we're looking at this, uh, there's you'll see down here we have the standard fields, advanced fields, and then post fields. So if we go into the post fields, you obviously have to have a title. Uh, it's the thing that actually creates the the post. So it's the the only one that is is required. So we have to put in the title. Okay, so we click to expand on it. I'm just going to give it post title. Uh, we could say, uh, or we could give it news article title, something like that. Uh, we want to set it to the the, draw, the post status. You can, if it's uh, say it's trusted uh, people that produce content for you, you can make straight to publish. But I generally just say draft. Uh, use use logged in user as author. Okay, we can disable that and then you can choose the author that's going to obviously be using it. We'll just use that. Post format is standard. Post category, I only have the one category. Uh, I'll come back to this create content template because uh, it, it needs a little bit more explaining. And we can just put you that it's required. Next things, we'll put in the body, which is obviously the body of the, the article. Similar kind of things, uh, post body, so we say news article so, same information that's available there I'll come back to this create content template next is the excerpt uh, like uh, like I said uh, if you don't have the the excerpt then what I'll do is when it creates the post it'll use the first 50 characters or however the, the theme is set up to create the excerpt but it's, sometimes it's much better to actually have complete control over the, the byline for the story. So we just put your excerpt and we'll put your uh, news article excerpt. I'm just going to leave it as is. Uh, the next part is we have tags. So we put in the tags, post tags. So we put your uh, uh, use article tags. Tags, oh, sorry, let me just get rid of that. Uh, category is exactly the same. Uh, you would just select category. Sometimes it gets a little bit stuck. Just click that again. There's post category. Now this is obviously set to use a, a drop down. But you can obviously change that to a checkboxes, and then what it'll do is it'll just have the two checkboxes for the, the various categories. I like that one. Uh, you could you could even have radio buttons if you just want them to be able to select one. But uh, I'm going to use checkboxes because you could have you could have quite a few uh, categories, or if you've got more than say a hundred categories, then you could use a multi-select. Okay, so if we go down the list here. 
we put uh, uh, required for news articles because we need that uh, excerpt also required uh, tags not really and then post category we can say yes that is required okay then uh, we put in the post image now there's a there's a few ways of working with the post image I'm just going to make this the, the, as opposed to being you could have an image that appears inside the content but we're just going to use featured image and we're going to use that same image inside the content then from a an SEO point of view you might want to start filling in this information here title title caption and description and we want to set this as the featured image okay so first things first uh, what I want to do is I want to get back to scroll it down to there I want to get back to this uh, uh, content template okay so I'm pretty happy with with how it is at the moment so let's let's update this uh, form okay so now I want to come back to that content template so if we look down here create content template you can see it says news article title so now you may want to add say the category or the tags as part of the title of the image so we just go down here post category now it would put in multiple post categories if, if it was a post category but I'm just giving you this as an example but we're just going to get rid of that we're not going to use a content template for that but I think if we get to the the actual article itself we create a content template and you can see how uh, there's the news article that's the, the, the article so let's insert uh, featured image we can select the image size and we say large centered and we're going to put that on as a new row and, and there we go it's required and we say update so now let's go put this uh, into an actual page so we go through to pages and we add a new page I'm just going to use the uh, let's just use the classic editor just for the, the the example of this actually you know what let's rather go back to all pages I use the Gutenberg one so we say add new by Gutenberg I've, I've never inserted a, for, uh, a gravity form using Gutenberg but let's try okay so we say add news article and we what we want to do is we want to add block and let's have a look here let's see what's available here never really I've never really worked with this inline image common blocks formatting layout elements widgets hmm. okay that's quite strange that they don't have a I have I've never really used this as an example but I'm just going to put in here Oh, okay. This is quite. Uh, oh, we're learning something new here. Uh, okay, let's go back up here. What's this? This is a classic. I don't see it anywhere. This is the strangest thing. Let's add a new section over here. so strange okay well that's probably for another video so let's go back to all pages I'm just gonna leave this page very very strange I'm just gonna delete that and we can add new through the classic editor 
Yeah, so we say uh, add news article, uh, and then we uh, add the form. We select the form, which would be uh, create post. I'm just going to. I'm not going to display the description. I'm going to enable AJAX, and I'm going to insert the form. Pretty simple, and I say publish. Oh, I've just read here. Jane, who's sitting next to me, said uh, Gutenberg doesn't allow to insert gravity forms, so we're going to have to figure out a way around that. That is, that is, uh, but I'm sure they'll sort it out fairly soon. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go, we're going to open this in a new tab, the actual form, the news article, and there we go. So I'm going to put you, uh, say, hello all, as my news article title. Uh, hello all. Okay, excerpt is hello. Now the tags, quite interesting how the tags work. So we say tag one. If for multiple tags, just use a comma and we go tag two, tag three. I'm just going to use one category for that. The featured image, I'm just going to browse quickly. I'm just going to use the Marriott picture that we, we, we tend to keep using. I'm going to put you the title of it is the Marriott. The, uh, the caption is best hotel. And the description is front of hotel. And uh, submit. Okay, so we have put in the, uh, the the article completely. So let's go look back in the back end. We'll go back to posts, and there we go. So we see there's the post that I've just created, and there you can see uh, tag one, tag three, tag two, uh, and I go preview it. So if I right mouse click and I open a new tab, I preview it. And there we go. So as you can see, that's obviously the featured image as based on the the uh, template. But yeah, we can see there's the hello all, blah, blah, there's the uh, content, there's the featured image that's formed part of the content. Now, if I go to categories, uh, let's go back to posts and uh, publish that. Uh, let's quick edit. And I'll take that from there to published and uh, update. Go back to here, and what we do is we click on the home page, and there's the categories. So if I click on lunch, and there we go. So we actually can actually see uh, everything that's part of that that article. Very very clever how it's done. So as you can see, that's how simple it is to actually create uh, posts using Gravity Forms. Sorry, I went through that whole big thing with the. Uh, the Gutenberg, but I will I will actually create a, a video on that where we can actually pull out uh, what the short codes are and add that to the Gutenberg. Listen, guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. We 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 are trying to grow our channel and, and try to teach people how to use uh, Gravity Forms and WordPress. And uh, it'd be nice if you could share this video and like this video. Listen, guys, have a great day. Chat soon. Bye.